Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to react to something that hopefully will make you all laugh. It certainly makes me laugh. And it's from the 1970s and it's an episode of Man About the House. I, as I've said to you previously, love looking at recent history, love seeing the changes in fashion, the makeup style, the hairstyle. Comedy obviously does change and it can be a bit of a hot topic. Some people look back at previous uh, ideas of what was funny and they don't like it. Other people can place it in the past and say, well, that was funny then, might not be appropriate now. I happen to think that Man About the House is one of those programmes that is just still funny. So I've picked an episode, Never Give Your Real Name. A little bit of background though. Um, Man About the House was extremely popular in the 1970s in the UK and I believe it was sold all around the world. Um, if you're in America, you might know it as the remake, which was Three's Company. And it's a bit fitting because um, this week we lost Suzanne Summers, and oh, I'm gutted about that because I loved watching her on Instagram. She was always doing, at one point it was three times a week, she was doing her Instagram lives and educating you about health and wellness and hormones. So that's really sad news and again, it's just sending love to her family. So that's a connection if you watch uh, Three's Company in the US. I've seen some episodes and again, I really enjoyed it. Some similarities. Um, you can see in the first few episodes that I didn't see the full thing, but you can see that they'd actually taken those same episodes and they'd replicated them. But then I saw clips of other ones where they clearly just took the programme in a completely different direction. The other thing about Man About the House was it was very edgy for the time. It was a man living with two women platonically. And that was so edgy because a man living with women? Oh, that is shocking. But the joke was that it was platonic, but Robin, who was a male character, was always trying his luck with Chrissy. Joe at first, but then it became Chrissy. And I don't want to spoil it because it was six series. And if you feel like watching it again, you don't want me to spoil everything. If you've never seen it and you want a laugh and you can watch anything from any time period, you might find it utterly hilarious. I do. And then finally, there was actually a book about maybe 10, 15 years ago. It was a companion book that was written can't remember his name, I want to say it was Tex something. I actually have a credit in that book because I can't remember why, but it was either on social media or somewhere and he was asking if anyone had any information on certain things it was looking for in relation to episodes or interviews. And don't ask me why, but I had something recorded which was from the 90s and it was interviews with the cast and I was able to send him a copy and as a result, I got an acknowledgement and a credit in that book. I did a tiny little thing to help, but that's my claim to fame that I was actually in the acknowledgements of a book. So I'll skip to the part where it basically gets to a very, very funny classic part of the sitcom. And what it is, is that Robin's friend Larry has been going out with a girl and he gave her a fake name, but he gave her Robin's name. She turns up looking for Robin. It's actually Larry. And she tells Chrissy and Joe, the two women in the flat, that she's expecting. Robin's actually going out with someone at the time. So he comes back home after a day out at college, I think it was at the time. And this is what happens at the table. So remember, it's Larry's girlfriend, but Larry's given them. Larry's given her, sorry, Robin's name. And between him and the goalpost, well, there's, I don't know, thousands of them. So what's he do? He takes a chance, he gets the ball, and he curls it right... Are you listening? Your girlfriend was here this afternoon. Oh, what, Linda? Is that her name? Yeah, that's her name. What's she want? I mean, I'm seeing her later on tonight. She did tell us not to tell him. Well, somebody should tell him. Yeah, but I don't think it's up to us. Maybe not. Well, carry on with your boring football story. No, 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 no. wait a minute, wait a minute. I mean, what is it you're not supposed to tell me? You're going to be a father. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and he got the ball and he curled it and the wind oh Christ she's pregnant by you yeah I get the point she told us not to tell you so don't you tell her we told you she told us what well you're not even supposed to know she's been here all right all right god isn't it marvelous I mean what have I done to deserve this well you're thinking of it yourself you're a rat I don't suppose there's any doubt. No, there isn't. You're a rat. <laughs> well, what are you going to do about it? 
And don't you love what they were wearing? The big lapels, the hair, his hair was so 70s. Love it. So now it's him and his actual yes, girlfriend are out for me. Delicious mouth watering golden pancakes with deep fried crinkle cut farmhouse chips. Fine. Sure, you've got enough bank fresh crispy pound notes to pay for this. Sorry, sorry, what were you saying? Sorry, I was miles away. You've been miles away all evening. Uh, yes, I know. Um, Linda, how, how long have we sort of, um, you know, sort of been going around together? Three or four months. Yeah. And, uh, well, I mean, I, I, I don't know about you, but uh, I, I haven't been going out with any other girls. Neither have I. Oh, good. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I mean, I mean fellas, you, uh, you haven't been going out with any other fellas. I mean, you know, I wouldn't mind. You could tell me. I wouldn't be at all jealous. Yeah. Well, I'm really glad about that. <laughs> Why? Hmm? Oh, nothing, nothing. I'm, uh, I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry I missed you this afternoon. You did? Yes. Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> you weren't there, were you? No. No, no. So no. you can see they're all getting well, I mean, the I'm sorry I wasn't there when you didn't come round. It wasn't <laughs> Barber. I know they told me. <laughs> oh, no, they didn't. Oh, Rum Barber. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> He's uh, it. Lin Linda, uh, do, do you agree that uh, a, a, a baby um, should have a father as, uh, well, as much as a, as a mother? Yes. Well, Here that's settled in. What is? Linda, I'm... I'm asking you to marry me. Oh, Robin! <laughs> that was perfect comedy. And what I really like about that is that you know that you can't do multiple takes of that. I, that couldn't have been tomato sauce because it moved too freely. So I've seen it that many times that I think it must have been a combination of maybe even like a raspberry sauce or something just to make it move. It couldn't have just been tomato sauce. But that was perfect physical comedy that you didn't realise because they're so clever that he's playing with the tomato sauce and he's fiddling about and he's nervous. But at no point do you think he's going to get a squeeze and it's going to go everywhere. So you can tell that the people, if you watch it again, the people in the background are behaving very well, they're trying not to laugh. She's trying not to laugh. At the end, when it goes to the commercial break, you can see that, that it was almost like her shoulders came down and it was pure relief. So that's why I love it. It's I won't tell you what happens at the end, but the misunderstandings continue on in part two and it's so funny and it does get resolved, but you'd never guess. So hope you found that amusing. Don't you love how they all looked? Um, I loved his girlfriend, I think it's Linda. It looked like a very Biba-esque dress. I liked the very sharp bob. Um, Richard O'Sullivan, who plays Robin, he's got the full 70s hair with the sideburns. You didn't really see Chrissy and Joe too much in this one, but I think there's a lot of Biba that they wear too. Just absolutely love that 70s style. So tell me what you think. Did you watch it the first time round or have you watched it since? It's repeated quite a lot here in the UK on different satellite channels. Is it something that you will watch now that it's new to you? Did you watch Three's Company or different versions around the world? I'd love to know. So this is my reaction to comedy that makes me laugh. Plus it's set in the 70s. What's more to love? I'd love to know your thoughts and I'll see you again soon.